Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video and welcome to June's wrap up. I am going to be making more videos than just wrap ups because I have made it halfway through the year and I've just been doing wrap ups and I really want to do more. I do have a series in mind um, so hopefully that will be coming at some point because <laughs> I would like to do other content than just my, my, my wrap ups. Nothing like playthroughs or anything because I wouldn't don't trust me to try to teach you how to play a game y'all <laughs> all right so we're gonna go ahead and start off with some bga stats so i played 12 games on bga we have hadrian's wall azul wingspan arc nova i was so excited when that was on there because i do love arc nova but it is a beast to try to get to the table <laughs> it's just too much going on and then i tried villagers that was that was okay it was okay i didn't mind it i wouldn't mind playing it again i was with the arnark earth then i tried it's a wonderful world i've heard many great things about it and i was like okay let me let me try it out finally and i'm actually really enjoying it and patchwork obsession of course love me some obsession space space is also a really good game that i wouldn't mind having in the collection and then welcome to physically i played 15 games so it is a little less than the last i think like two months but it's still so fine of course we have our repeats and we're just gonna kind of like skim through those because i talk about them every month and we're gonna kind of keep the same format that i did last month where i tag a movie with the game but i'm only gonna do that with the games that I don't don't play all the time because I've given you know I feel like I've paired them up with movies plenty of time <laughs> and now so I'm kind of running out of movies for them <laughs> so uh the repeats uh three sisters which is part of my 10 by 10 challenge and this is how my 10 by 10 challenge is going again not much has moved but it's going. We still got six more months, y'all. We still got six more months. Then we have Danger Dice. Uh, Danger Dice. Yeah, Danger Dungeons. <laughs> Danger Dice. Dungeons Dice and Danger, uh, which is another one that I play a lot. Part of my 10 by 10 challenge, S is a Grotto, Wingspan, Asia, and Hadrian's Wall. Those are all part of my 10 by 10 challenge. Camel Up. Camel Up. And this is a really fun like party game. It's so quick to teach. This was my second time playing it. It's a racing game. It's a betting game. You're just trying to see which camel's gonna pass on the finish line first. And I just realized I didn't even think about a movie for this. You know, just because the next movie is about to come out. Well, actually, it's already out, right? Yes, it's already out. We're gonna go with Indiana Jones. And The Last Crusade, that's the first one that popped up here when I was looking for a movie with camels in it. The Dial of Destiny is currently out for everybody's enjoyment. I have yet to watch it because I am slacking on my movie watching, y'all. Then we have uh, Tiny Towns. And, you know, we're just trying to build a little town. It's like a puzzly situation that could get pretty stressful. You're trying to build off these uh, buildings into your tiny town. Have to be strategic on where you're placing your buildings because it could also kind of like stop you from building other buildings. And yeah, it's very stressful, you guys. I, I really, really enjoy it because it's one of those where... You're, you pick a resource, but everybody around the table has to pick the exact same resource. And you're like, well, if that means everybody's things are going to be the same. Not necessarily, because I can be wanting to build uh, a church. Meanwhile, my cousin over there is like, I'm going to build a cantina, a.k.a. a tavern, you know, because they're alcoholics over there. But over here, I'm trying to get my church on. This was part of a game night that I did. I think I started off the game night with Tiny Towns. Um, we ended with not, oh no, we didn't end with Camel Up. Camel Up, I think, was like second to last on, on that one. The movie that I am pairing Tiny Towns with is... I forgot to write them down, you guys. I totally forgot to write them down. Oh, I remember what it was, y'all. It wasn't a movie. It was a show, The Last of Us. When, you know, when we get to that part where they're doing, like, their whole town situation. And The Last of Us is a great series, y'all. It's a great series. I do have a review on that if you guys are interested. If you guys are new, I'm mainly a movie channel. And I've been kind of, like standing in your pool here thank you for allowing me to do that uh but i do have a review on the last of us i'll link it down below if you guys um in case you're interested then uh we have 
E.T. Light Years from Home. This is another great movie. Movie. It's a great movie also, which I'm pairing it with E.T. because of course I'm not gonna pair it with another movie. It's gonna be there's a movie with it. You're trying to help E.T. find the equipment to be able to build uh, a device so he can phone home. But let me tell you something about these damn dice to home phone home, phone home. They are terrible dice. I don't know, the weight is off. You can never call freaking home, by the way. You never. Poor E.T. dies every time we play, y'all. You're the kids and the bikes and you're like getting around the agents and agent keys. They're out to get you. Don't get caught because then you're going to like have to empty out your basket and they're going to send you home. Go home, they're going to tell you. Oh, Cartographers is another one that I play um, a lot as well. It's a, it's a, it's a rolling flip and right the flipping right you're like drawing stuff it's great you're, you're you're making stuff for the queen the queen is all like go out there and explore and like write shit down for me because i want to see what's out there so then i can clean stuff for it and it's not really well, it's, it is probably theirs but uh you're just a photographer you're trying to live your best life you're what you're competing for the queen's attention then we have kites uh and this one is a quick party game you're just flipping over some um sand times as you're putting cards down and you're really just trying to keep your kites in the air i don't really know there's not much to it you guys it's very chaotic um this was actually how we ended our game night was with kites which was which is a lot of fun uh, we did two rounds because it, it's over so quickly you're just trying to keep these kites up in the air i don't know anything about keeping a kite up in the air because i've never like flown a kite nobody's ever taught me but you know who who might actually teach me to fly a kite Mary Poppins and that's the movie that I'm gonna pair this with mm. yeah I am having like wig difficulties here <laughs> then we have on my brain this was the first time uh, playing this game this was I think the second game that we played for game night you're really just playing cards and you're trying to beat um, like the higher card from what was played except for that one card that's like you have to play like one less you are unable to play a card and you have to like discard and like get rid of brains and basically there's like some little critters around and they're trying to eat you there's zombies there's a zombie game there's brains involved and stuff you know you can get brains back uh, but it's also pretty quick and everything there's some uh, cards that let you like roll uh, like a marshmallow die I think that's what it's called like a pink die uh, but the movie that I'm going to be pairing this with, there's no critters, but there's still an animal. And I was thinking about like a zombie animal or just like something that's like rabbit or something. It's not Cujo, y'all. Uh, just because I feel like Cujo's just one at one dog, right? Uh, and then here, there's like a lot of critters, y'all. It's like a lot of stuff that can come at you and try to kill you and eat your brains. So I'm going with a really, really ridiculous movie that I've only seen once and I was just like, what did I just watch? And now I'm gonna put it out there into the world for you to maybe watch and be like, what the hell was this? Why would you recommend it? I don't know. I don't know, but like when I saw about this, like that movie kind of like popped into my head. It's terrible, y'all don't watch it, okay? It's a terrible recommendation, but it's one of those that it might be so terrible and the concept of it you're gonna be like okay i may be intrigued and i may want to watch it because like killer sheep yeah this movie's called black sheep y'all there's like a bunch of killer sheep i can't remember i've only seen it once y'all i don't really remember much about it i just know that there was some freaking sheep bah bah ah. i don't know what the hell that noise was it's cray y'all ah bah <laughs> then we have that's pretty clever it's my first like clever deal. I did terrible, terrible with, I, I think I played like twice because it's really quick. You're rolling some dice. I don't really know like what's the story behind it. I don't even remember. I have no movie for this. I have no movie. Of course. I'm like terrible, right? It's like there's no movie for this. There's no movie for that. And I told you I was going to have a movie. I wasn't prepared, y'all. When am I prepared? But you know what? There was like a dish like on that tray where it says put them on the dish has nothing to do with it but just because the movie is so great i'm gonna go ahead and put it in there so i'm gonna recommend the menu amazing movie one of my favorite movies of last year great highly highly recommend it i have a review on it i'll put a link it down below um oh i don't think it was a full review i think it was just like an out of the theater like rea like reaction video that we did great it's just it's top 10 of the year y'all top 10 of the year then we have origins first builders um 
I have been kind of seeing it around people's stuff that it's great. I think I heard the Brothers Murph talk about it, that they like it. I'm sorry to think that I may have accidentally confused it with this other game. I played it solo. I, in, case, good, in case you guys are new, I'm mainly a solo player. Um, this month was actually a good month as, as far as, you know, being able to play with other people. This is a game about aliens that are kind of helping you, like, rebuild your civilization and stuff. They're teaching you the technology and things. It's pretty interesting. There's, like, dice involved. I wasn't fully here for the solo mode. Well, let me tell you about the solo mode. Okay, so there's technically two, but it comes with, like, the training solo mode in the thing, but it also has a second solo mode that you have to print out, unfortunately, which I didn't like that because I don't have a printer. And I can print stuff at work, but we don't have colored ink at work. I feel like this might be a game that I would need to play with other people to, like, get more enjoyment. But there's, like, a lot of, like, dice. Well, it's a dice game. Um, there's a lot of dice involved. There's colored dice and there's just the regular white dice. There is, uh, oh my gosh, I just realized I have my bracelet on here. I am sorry for all the noise it's been making. I just started hearing it right now. The movie that I am pairing this one with is going to be... Dude, I just had the game, the movie in my head. What? Arriving. That's what it is. <laughs> Arriving. Uh, that is the movie that I'm pairing it with because there's aliens that are coming. They're kind of teaching them, showing them things. And then finally, um, I did get my Kickstarter uh, Trailblazer, the John Muren Trail. It is also a very, very massive game. Played it solo. The solo mode is really good, actually. But it is like like just a points type driven game and the solo mode kind of reminded me of the solo mode for um endless winter i really 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 liked it except for the fact it, it kind of also reminds me of like clank you know like if you're on if you get stuck at the end of the game like when it's triggered in the in the dungeon basically right in the un, un, whatever it's called then you don't qualify for sco scoring. You have, to, like, if you're in the depths, right? If you're in the depths, you don't qualify. You have to at least be on the outer part of it. I mean, obviously, if you're, like, outside of it, great, right? You're more sorry, but the village people will come and get you if you're in that general area. But if you're just underneath that depth, you're, you're done. Oh, well, sorry. And so here, you have to make it to the very end or the top of the peak, whatever it's called, because you're going down the trail. If you don't make it, you don't qualify at all to for the scoring. You basically have like two turns that you don't have to move down the trail. And unfortunately, I totally like miscalculated and I thought I had moved one time. Obviously, I didn't. I could definitely feel like, oh yeah, we're definitely going through these trails. At the end of the day, you have to make sure you turn in your canned food and your water because you got to eat, right? At the end of the day, it's one of those that you got to feed yourself. You don't want to die, right? You get some hardship tokens if you're unable to do it. I do think that maybe with like other people, it would be a little bit more enjoyable. The turns are really quick, but the solo mode is, it's really good. This one could kind of take over parts because there is more to it right and it's still a very chill game the only thing is that parts it's easier to table because it's not as big as a table hog as um trailblazer but if you do have time if you do want more of a hiking type of experience just more in depth then I feel you should definitely give this one a try because it does give you more of that hiking sense. And somebody who doesn't like the outdoors or hiking, this is as close to hiking as I will get. <laughs> the movie that I'm pairing this well with is called Wild. Um, it does star Reese Witherspoon. It is based on a true story and she's actually going um, on a hike, like trying to find herself. And she's going down this trail, kind of like with the John Muir trail, but her trail is a different trail i don't remember the name of it yeah that is all the movies not the movies all the games that i played in the month of june i believe that is it yes i have covered all of them um let me know down below did we happen to play any, any of the same games and uh what movies would you maybe pair some of these games with your stuff i'm always up for some recommendations because you're never going to see the same games again next month and i could always use some recommendations if you haven't already don't forget to give this video a like 
comment, subscribe if you haven't too. Once again, I am mainly a movie related channel, hence why I'm I'm trying to pair it up with a movie as much as I can. Um, the chaos that was in this movie, in this movie, in this video is not uncommon because I am never prepared for anything, you guys. It's like, okay, I got a film. Let me sit my ass down and we're going to see where it goes. But with all that said, until next time, I'll see you guys at concessions. Bye.